Hello everybody, this is the Tech Network 98 here, and I've got a special guest. It is my friend, um, he is a great tech expert with a bunch of blind and visually impaired technologies. He's got a review here going for what's called the Braille Note. Um, it is a computer designed for the blind based off of Braille which has a full Braille keyboard and a 32 cell Braille display. Now there are multiple models of the Braille Note. He is using the second to latest one called the M Power. Recently, in the late of 2009, the Braille Note's Apex came out. We'll be getting a review for that one out later, possibly. Anyways, I'm going to hand it over to Brandon here, as we'll kind of side by side be talking about this device. So Brandon, first, let's start with the hardware. All right. The uh, well, there's uh, for each different model of Braille Note, there's there's different hardware configurations depending on the model in which you have. Let's talk about this current model you have here. All right. Let's start on the left side under this Velcro flap. Okay. Left side. I don't know if you can see where my finger is. Uh, down down where my finger is is the record button. It, it's a vertical shaped kind of button recessed inside a hole um, and then going beyond that is the headphone input uh, headphone output socket sorry um, where you plug in just standard headphones or it can even accept uh, stereo speakers to output sound um, Moving up here, it looks like you have different headphone and microphone inputs. Yep, you have a microphone input to connect a, a standard external microphone that has a standard jack that you would plug into a microphone port on your computer. Like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Exactly. Moving up, you have the power switch, I see, and a red button. What is this above the power red switch? Red button recessed in a roundish kind of hole uh, is the uh, reset button. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, it's used to reboot Braille Note software in cases where it stops or hangs, as I like to refer to it. All right, moving on to the back side here, back I'm holding side. it up. We've got a compact flash card slot, <clears throat> which you have a carding right now. I do. It's a 128M card. Just to the right of that, a serial port. Back they still have up. these? The new... The, supposedly the new Apex models, not supposedly, the new Apex model does not have a serial port anymore. They removed that mm -hmm. because it's, well, old. To the right of the serial port? You have the two USB host ports to plug in USB flash drives. All right, and it looks like an infrared. The, to, the right to the right of that is the modem jack. Oh, modem, sorry. And, uh... That's also being removed on Apex, but when we, we'll talk more about the Apex in a minute. And um, then way off to the right is an infrared yeah, it's power. It's kind of in a it's in a window. There, there's a channel thing located in a window. Right. Um, right side, I don't want to spend too much time on hardware, but right side here, basically, we've got a PCMCAA card slot, which can take adapters for a bunch of different cards. Yeah. And then... And then Beyond that is the card eject button for the PC which is used MCAA to eject slot. the card. Um, All right, so that's the basic hardware on the t sides and t back of it. Here on the front, looking now at the top, you have the uh, the Braille keyboard, the speaker, and the Braille display. The Braille display is 32 standard Braille cells. You can get different models of different sizes, 18 cells, 32 cells. Mm -hmm. um, Braille keyboard's a standard Braille keyboard, six dots plus a space bar. On the left and right, you have a backspace and enter keys, which can change functions slightly based on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, so turn this thing on real quick, Brandon, make sure the speech is on. Uh, should be. I never really use the Braille display, which makes me wonder why the beep I purchased this, or I got this thing, if I never use the Braille display. All right, can you turn that up a little bit? Go to your main menu, and right. we are, we've spent too much time on hardware here. We've only got about 10 minutes left at the very max. So, um, let's just, um, go option by option here in the main menu. 
So what's your first option? Brown Note Empower has very powerful programs. Uh, you have word processor. All right. Powerful document capabilities. With yes, the word, the word processor is very powerful. It's like full out Microsoft Word almost. Keep in mind these options do change slightly based on your Braille Note model and software version. Yes. But they stay for the most part the same. Yeah, they're mostly consistent and so transferring from one even from one device to another device is really easy. Alright, let's continue here. Planner. The planner a it's kind of it's basically your calendar. You can set events and appointments and it's very powerful. I find it useful. Address list. Keep track of your contacts with the address book in Keysoft version nine point two if you got an Apex. Yep. Oh the address book is um, very powerful yeah. I think. And on other models you'll find it pretty much the same. Uh, I haven't seen much change in it over the years. Email. Email program, very powerful. If you've ever used Windows Mail, Windows Live Mail, Outlook Express, if you have a Mac, um, Apple's Mail program, anything like that, this is just like that pretty much. Very powerful, intuitive, can send attachments with stuff. It's great. Internet, Internet browser. Uh, it's just as powerful as uh, whatever people use now. Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari. <sighs> However, I will say that uh, certainly I wouldn't recommend it, though, because you can't do much with it, because today all these sites require JavaScript and all that, and it runs off of Internet Explorer 6, which is majorly out of date, and it's very, very slow. Media Center. Play your music files with the Media Center, listen to the radio, or record and play back voice recordings. Reader. Read books, PDF files, by converting them to text, and a range of other files, including audio daisy books. Scientific calculator. Calculator, very advanced. It's, well, it is scientific, um, so I guess it kind of has to be. It's a decent calculator. It can get, for the most part, the job done. Database manager. Keep track of collections with the database manager, including CDs, DVDs, contact information, yeah. Household items and so on. Yeah, the list could go on forever with that. Games. There, uh, Keysoft comes with a few games you can get. Um, a few text adventure based games that are fun for anyone to play. Um, you can download more from many different websites, however. Yeah, maybe we'll do a video on that. Um, file manager. File management, similar to the My Computer icon on your computer, too. Manage the structure of files on the device. Or if you use a Mac, it's the Finder. Now, Utilities. Now, this option has quite a bit to explain. It's just a number of general purpose items, such as backing up files, changing the pronunciation of words, anything you'd really find in a common screen reader. Or yeah, I'm afraid we can't go in there now as we're short on time. No. Terminal, for screen reader. Terminal for screen readers. Basically, I don't use as much. Doesn't it basically, Brandon, tell me if I'm wrong, it lets you, like, use your Braille notes to control your screen reader? If you've got a Braille note with a Braille display, um, you can use this as an external refreshable Braille display for your computer and where supported type text or interact with the operating system. Such as menus and stuff like that. Remote synthesizer. No Remote longer supported. Yes, in the Apex models, there is no longer a remote synthesizer, but what it did, it let you use your Braille Notes speech synthesizer, like Keynote Gold or Eloquence, as we're using right now, um, and it fed everything a screen reader would say through your Braille Note. Very nice if you don't want to hook up speakers to your computer. Keyboard learn. Learn the layout of your keyboard. If you're beginning to type or learn Braille, use this mode. Or to figure out commands on the Braille Note. Yes. For information, rest space with I. General information about your Braille notes, such mm -hmm. as serial number, hardware version, and a list of other options. And for the options menu, rest space with O anywhere. End of menu. Options so. menu, uh, just like setting date or viewing date, time, setting your Braille language, and things like that. And that completes the list. All right, so. We won't have time to go into this stuff, but what do you think? Of, what, do, what do you like about the promo? What do you think is powerful? 
I like that the Braille Note is able to handle, um, it can handle books very well in the common BRF Braille Ready format. Um, BRF has been around for ages and it, it seems that all Braille devices have been able to support it and that is the one format that I absolutely love. And what is there about the Braille Note, and I know we're running yam power here, what is the thing about the Braille Note, or a couple things, that you dislike that seem bad to you? Like I said before, I absolutely dislike the web browser. You can't really do much with it. Um, the browser on the Apex, some people would say in the new Braille Note model, is better. Others would disagree. The browser has been a thing of conflict over the years. but um, It used to be a really good thing, you know, back when back when sites weren't as complicated and nowadays on these on this thing you can do some with it and I'll, we'll probably do a video on that uh, but uh, yeah it's just not what it seems like it should be all right so we're almost out of time here we're hitting the 12 minute mark we've got 15 minutes total I think but um so I don't bore you guys so what I do after all my reviews I give this thing a rating out of 10 my personal rating for the Braille Notes Empower, the Braille Note in general, okay, would probably be an 8.5. What would you pick, Brandon? I personally pick a 5. Only. Only. Because of the web browser. Because it's that of, bad. Well, I pick it because of another, a number of other things that we haven't discussed. Like many bugs. Yeah, issue. many. There are a lot of bugs. And, and a lot glitches. of those have been introduced with the Apex, and we'll cover more on that. Yes, so I give it an 8.5, you get it a 5. That comes out just doing some very simple math, and I haven't been thinking this through much. Just estimating comes out to about a 6.5. So if you're thinking about getting a Braille Note... Go with I'm an not, power. Well, no. <laughs> if you're looking at Braille technology, the Braille Note might not be a terrible choice, mm -mm. but... Definitely look at your other options, because there are some other really good ones out there. Mm -hmm. So this has been the Bruno Empower. Sorry we're out of time. This also review kind of talked about the Apex a little bit. We will be getting a specific one for the Braille Note mm -hmm. Apex. And you'll find much more up-to-date information in there about new programs that have been added and so forth. Yes, and as always, for all of our videos, which, trust me, we're really getting a wide variety now. We've had computer tutorials, video game reviews, uh, and now these tech reviews. Um, for all of our videos, go to www.youtube.com forward slash the tech network 98. And now we, for a limited time, we have a custom domain out, the tech network 98.tk. You can also go there as it redirects you to our YouTube channel. So youtube.com forward slash T-H-E-T-E-C-H-N-E-T-W-O-R-K-9-8 or the Tech Network 98tk That's all for us. I'm g we are going to see a lot more of Brandon here coming up as he is joining as a partnership with my channel. So Brandon, any last words? I, I'm glad that I've been able to do this for you guys. I hope it gives you a little bit more information, and I'll I'll be around in whenever we do this again. So. Um. All right. So as always, please rate videos, please comment on them, good and bad. I take all comments, and as always, please subscribe. It means more to me than you know. I'm sure it will to Brandon soon enough. But this has been the Brill Note. We will see you next time. Ciao.